I am Fola Shadi Folari Akwan, and you're welcome to the Nine News Highlights. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mr. Audu Ogbe, says President Muhammadu Buhari is committed to finding a lasting solution to the frequent clashes between headers and farmers in the country. The minister, who was responding to concerns raised by Nigerian postgraduate students studying in Wageningen University and Research Center in Netherlands, said Nigeria was anxious to see the students' innovation, learning, expertise and knowledge to address some of the challenges in the agriculture and food security sectors. In a related development, President Muhammad Buhari, in a meeting with members of Nigerians and Diaspora Organization, also expressed satisfaction with the intellectual and professional achievements of Nigerian professionals in the Netherlands. Speaking on behalf of the delegation, Julius Nwakwa, the chairman of NIDO Netherlands chapter, commended President Buhari for the war against corruption and urged the government and its security team to accelerate efforts at halting the unfortunate killings in Nigeria. The National Board for Technical Education says it has recommended 29 polytechnics to pioneer the open distance and flexible learning program. The Executive Secretary of the Board, Dr. Masaudu Kazari, said a recommendation of the institutions was the outcome of the 2017 Innovation in Vocational Education and Skills Development Meeting with the Commonwealth of Learning, aimed at boosting access to technical and innovative skills of Nigerians. The program is expected to begin once it is ratified by the National Council on Education. The Nigerian army says it has neutralized 22 suspected terrorists in Bama local government area of Borno, northeast Nigeria, while several others escaped with gunshot wounds after troops repelled an attack. Spokesman of the army, Brigadier General Texas Chuku, denied a report that the terrorists attacked, killed soldiers, and carted away some military vehicles. Chuku said the reported attack was not only untrue, but misleading and blown out of proportion. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.